Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. You know, the Eris Landy Laura versus Terrell Goucher fight. That had to be the last straw for Demetrius Andre because Demetrius Andre has now effectively made the decision, the decision to go up to 160 pounds and he'll be taking on Atlantis Fox very soon. An undefeated prospect at middleweight. And on top of that, Demetrius Andre is now signed with HBO, effectively putting him on a path to face guys like Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, Daniel Jacobs, David Lemieux, you know, Miguel Cotto, guys of that caliber up at 160. But this move to sign with HBO has now put his 154-pound career in question and in a lot of jeopardy truth be told let's get into this man you know according to Demetrius Andre he thought that the WBA was going to order a fight between him and Arislandy Laura uh prior to him I mean after he beat uh Jack Cool K Demetrius Andre went all the way over to Germany to fight Jack Cool K for low money and a lot of people say he didn't look that good in that fight but he did take that long trip to Germany for low money. So I'm sure he wasn't that motivated. He got the job done and he still did not get Arislandy Lore. This comes after Demetrius Andrade for years have been hunting down the Charlos. He has been hunting down, calling out Laura. He's been wanting guys like Trout. He's been wanting them all basically at 154. We hear the things he's been doing and the names he's been calling. He pops up at fights. He does it all. He does what he tries to do to get a big fight. And yet he's been unable to secure a big fight. The last time we heard of Demetrius Andre going to be involved in a big fight was back in 2014 when we thought he was going to face Jamel Charlo. Now, according to Arislandy Lord, he feels as though Demetrius Andre is broke and frustrated. I don't know about the broke part, especially since newly signing with HBO. But frustrated, possibly. And usually when Demetrius Andre get frustrated, he usually jumps the gun a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Back in 2014, we know the infamous story. Demetrius Andre was the WBO 154-pound champion. His future looked very, very bright. His promotional outfit between Star Boxing and Banner Promotions, they, have, they had secured Demetrius Andre to fight with Jamel Charlo. On Showtime. And depending on, I guess, you know, what happened with that fight, they were also in the process of giving Demetrius Andre a multi fight deal with Showtime. So it was all good. He was going to make $550,000 for facing Jamel Charlo. And it all looked good. But then Rock Nation Sports, trying to get their name into boxing. They come out of nowhere and they get into the ear of Demetrius Andre and they set up a meeting with Andre's father and himself and they disguised it, according to Demetrius Andre, under branding and marketing for branding and marketing purposes. But when they got into this meeting, they quickly seen that Rock Nation was more interesting in promoting Demetrius Andre. And that they said that, hey, we will give you that same five hundred and fifty thousand that you will make against Charlo for you to step out of that fight. And then towards the end of the year, we will look to purchase your contract from your current promoters. Um, banner promotions and the other, uh, you know, his promotional outfit, they, they were going to basically buy the, his contract from them for two million dollars at the end of the year. And so Demetrius Andre went down with that plan, man. He backed out of the Jamel Charlo fight. Right. Which then pissed off Showtime as well as pissed off his, his promoters. He then listened to everything exactly Rock Nation was, you know, told him to do. But Rock Nation didn't uphold their end of the deal. After Andre backed out of that fight with Charlo, he basically did not get the 550000 that he thought he was going to get from Rock Nation. And on top of that, they didn't look to buy his contract because Banner Promotions and All-Star Boxing, they, were, they looked to sue Rock Nation 
Rock Nation backed off, which left Demetrius Andrade in limbo. Demetrius Andrade then had a 16-month layoff. Showtime was pissed off at him. HBO was pissed off at him because Rock Nation was going to lure Demetrius Andre out of the Jamel Charlo fight and also out of that Showtime deal. And they were going to put him on HBO in which they were going, they were going to give him lesser opponents for more money. That was the plan. So when this whole shit with the shit, when it fell apart, Demetrius Andre then loses out on some of the he loses his WBO title. For one, he was stripped for being inactive. He then, he has both networks pissed off at him. Rock Nation has gotten out of town. And now all he's left with is Banner Promotions and All-Star Boxing, which is his current promoters, for him to reconcile. And he reconciled with them, made up everything, and they got back to business. After all the legal crap, got back to business. Demetrius Andre come back after 16 months being off. It turns out his promotional company must have sued over a relationship with Showtime because he had a couple fights on Showtime. And we said, hey, this is all good for the fans because all of the top 154 pound fighters fight on Showtime. We see that this past card was a Showtime card. They all are managed by Al Heyman, Jamel Charlo, Hurd, and Eris Landy Law. And, of course, Al Heyman's influence is with, is with CBS, which is the parent company to Showtime, which also houses his PBC brand. Now, not to say that Al Heyman cannot make fights on HBO. We just seen Daniel Jacobs signing the HBO contract. And Al Heyman manages Daniel Jacobs. But Al Heyman doesn't manage D Demetrius Andre. And... That's where he keeps his fighters. So Demetrius Andre was fighting on Showtime, but Showtime started to sour on Andre. And Andre's fights became more and fewer and in between. This led to the HBO deal that we got today. HBO, from what I'm hearing, this deal was paramount on Demetrius Andre moving up to 160 pounds. They wanted another fighter, which HBO has now, they're effectively rebuilding their stable of fighters after they dismissed top-ranked promotions. Top-ranked promotions took all of their stable of fighters over to ESPN. So HBO, which used budgeting problems in the past, they're now restructuring their fighters. We just seen them sign Daniel Jacobs. You know they have most of the Golden Boy stable at middleweight. That's Canelo. You know they have Gennady Golovkin. You know that they have David Lemieux, which is also under Golden Boy. You know, so you, you, they are now adding another big name at middleweight to their stable over at HBO. It's smart if you are a middleweight. But as far as for 154, where all of these guys are still fighting under the CBS Showtime model, and though they may not be signed exclusively to these networks, this is who their manager wants them to do business with. And by Demetrius Andre now effectively signing with HBO, and he did leave the window open to go back to 54. This means that HBO and Showtime will have to come together to make a fight. Anything involving Demetrius Andre. Now, my question is. All of this time that we waited for Andre to get a big fight. He's now the mandatory challenge. And any day now, the WBA can order a fight between him. And Arislandy Law, because Demetrius Andre has effectively fought his way back to becoming the WBA regular champion. And it's going to happen any day that the WBA is going to be forced to come out and say that you two got to fight. But now you have effectively put another obstacle up. And who knows what may happen with that situation now? Because I don't see HBO clamoring for Arislandy Law. And I don't see HBO clamoring to make a fight with Showtime over these two fighters. I just don't see it. So all of this time, we waited for my man Andre to get a big fight at 54. And now given that Charlo, Trout, Hurd, and Laura all fight for Heyman over on Showtime CBS. What's going to happen for Andre at 54? 
It's crazy because we've been rolling with this guy at 54 for a minute. And we were hoping he did get in some of these big fights at 54. But with this HBO move, it puts a lot of that in jeopardy, man. It just does. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I, I'm, I'm overlooking something. But I really wish he would have, I don't know, got one of them guys that then went on with this deal. But I guess that Goucher fight, that Goucher fight between him and Erislandy Lore was the last straw. Because he really thought he was going to get Erislandy Lore after he beat Jack Coquet. And they didn't give it to him. So he got tired of waiting around. He got tired of being pulled around by Showtime, who's currently, who clearly is not in the favor of Demetrius Andre. He got tired of being pulled around by Heyman, I guess. And he just got tired of waiting around. He's just been inactive, sitting around just time every day, just passing by. He's just sitting around waiting on one of these guys to step up. I remember when he approached Jamel Charlo. Him and his brother was together. Jamel Charlo wanted nothing to do with him. Man, you the one that backed out of the fight. You the one that backed out of the fight. That was then. This is now. Fans want to see it. I think Demetrius Andre would be a good addition to the 160-pound division. Do not get me wrong. It's good to see another good name added to the division, especially with Jamal Charlo just recently going up there. This is going to be very interesting because he's been wanting Jamal Charlo ever since he was at 54 also. We'll see, man, because uh, Jamal Charlo is an Al Heyman guy as well. So who knows? I don't know, man. It, it just thing. It just to me puts another obstacle between him and a lot of the fighters that we wanted to see him fight. But who knows? Maybe the future is much brighter. Maybe they don't keep him as inactive. Maybe they actually put him in there with bigger names at 160. But it's really a shame to see that Demetrius Andre will possibly leave 154. Yes, I know he kept the window open and he's still ranked at 154. But it'll be a very much a shame if all of this time has passed and we don't get one good fight from all of those guys down at 154 for Demetrius Andre. It would just be really much. It would just be a shame. Real talk. I don't accuse Demetrius Andre of ducking. And I do know politics play a major part in this sport. And I do think that the other fighters at 54 might fight him. But it's just sad that none of this stuff was able to come to fruition, man. And this move for De Demetrius Andre, this may be his best move for him and his family and the mouths he got to feed. But for us fans, it puts another political obstacle in the way of making a fight that we really, really wanted to see. So I hope they do get it done. I hope they can get around all this crap and they do get it done. Because I really want to see Demetrius Andre mix it up with them. I think he has a lot of unfinished business at 54 but yet, the 160 division could be exciting for him, too. But I really wish he could get one of those guys, one of the Charlos, got, got Laura, got Trout, got somebody, man. He didn't get any of them. But it is what it is. So HBO is now going to be broadcasting Demetrius Andre. I'm looking forward to this Atlantis Fox fight that he got coming up because, um, you know, the kid's a prospect, but he's undefeated. And he's also a middleweight. So it's going to be a higher weight. This guy stands at six foot four. He's tall. He's rangy. So it's going to be interesting to see how a rangy fighter like Andre is going to be able to handle this. Real talk, especially at a whole new weight class. So I'm very much looking forward to that. We will be seeing Demetrius Andre in the ring very soon. Um, and according to Demetrius Andre, no more inactivities. No more waiting, you know, long time between fights. And HBO is talking exactly how they, you know, he wants to talk. And this has been a long time coming because now he's effectively doing business with HBO on a more permanent basis. His future looks more uh, certain now, if you will. And hopefully he can get away from the politics because... Demetrius Andre has dealt with enough politics, in my opinion. Real talk. So we'll see. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. You know, it's funny. This is another WBA fighter that's put in their position with the WBA in jeopardy. We just seen Lamont Peterson literally walk away from him, him being the WBA regular champion, making him the Mando to keep one time Thurman. And he's now taking a fight with Earl Spence, putting that position in jeopardy. And now you see. Demetrius Andre moving on with HBO, hopefully uh, to keep him more active, doing what he got to do for his career. At least he believes so. I'm hoping he's not jumping the gun like he did back in 2014. And, you know, he's jeopardizing his position by being the Mando to Aristlandy Laura. So I don't know. Maybe these fighters know something that we don't when they see the writing on the wall with the WBA wanting to consolidate their belt into one champion per weight class. I don't know. 
But something fishy is going on with the WBA, man. Real talk. But we'll see how this play out. I hope he gets nothing but good fights at 160. And I hope he does clean up 54 with a little bit of that unfinished business. So to the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.